there is a fair share of shows documenting the lives of people living in the most remote, hardest of places. Port protection is certainly one of such places as displayed in a documentary reality TV show of the same name on National Geographic. It features a ton of residents from the census-designated island, each one more unique than the other, but the most unique of them is probably Litzy Botello. At first glance, we'll notice that Botello does not have one hand, but continues to function just as well as anyone independently in the off-grid lifestyle of her rural residents. She's famous as the one-armed Mexican in the small town, but did something happen to her? She was completely missing from the most recent season of court protection. It is clear that she has many fans like us who seem to be wondering the same thing, and it was a good thing because one of them even went ahead and asked about her whereabouts at a Facebook group of the show. I have missed seeing her. Love to watch her fillet fish, the fan wrote earlier this year. And thanks to what we got the answer, but sadly it was not a welcome answer. It was none other than her husband, John Bean, who answered the general query about her, confirmed later by other fans that also were aware of the sad news. He also revealed that she passed away fighting ovarian cancer. We also found her obituary published in Ketchikan Daily News a little too late, as it revealed that she had already passed away almost a year ago on June 25, 2021, in her home in Port Protection at the age of 62. It talked about how she was survived by just her husband, John, as both her sons had sadly also passed away a lot longer ago. Litsy was not just an outdoors woman, but an artist who primarily worked with polymer clay. Her obituary also talked about how she enjoyed beach climbing and just walking on the beach, listening to good music, especially live music, talking to strangers, traveling with her husband in their van, supporting women in any way possible, spreading love. Lindsay seems to have passed away just a few months after the death of her close friend and Port Protection co-star Gary Mulberger. As John also revealed, she went into surgery for her cancer the day Gary died. Gary perished in a house fire on March 19, 2021, but bad weather delayed state troopers and other authorities from reaching the remote island in time. Only on March 23 did state troopers investigate and found human remains in the Burke House, and a state medical examiner confirmed it to be Gary three days. It is truly tragic to learn about the death of not just one, but two people who were such great friends. Our hearts are broken and express late condolences to them and their family.